For the past year, social distancing, mask, and decreased capacity have become a new normal. Now in Alabama, those guidelines are no longer required, but still recommended. Businesses have a right to uh, require face masks. Uh, even if you're flying, uh, you know, still required through the federal government. City Council President William Parker says while the health order helped decrease cases, businesses can still limit the number of people allowed inside and require customers to wear masks. Till enough people get the actual vaccine for it to matter. Um, right now, our space is so tight that we just want everybody to be safe. If anybody coughs in here, it's, it's pretty much, you know, everybody's going to be impacted off of that one cough. Crystal Peterson, co-owner of Yo Mama's, says they even made accommodations for folks who just don't want to wear a mask inside. You can do it curbside or you can order uh, on the door. We have a QR code. You can order from there and we can still bring it outside to you if you don't feel comfortable wearing a mask. Governor Ivey releasing a statement saying Alabamians have consistently stepped up to the plate over the course of this pandemic and I know they will continue to do so. The state of emergency is set to remain in place until July 6th. In the meantime, community leaders continue to encourage people to get their shot. The top priority is to make sure that we vaccinate every resident within the city of Birmingham as quickly as we possibly can. The more people who get vaccinated, the quicker we'll be all safer. In Birmingham, Xavier Harris, WVTM 13.